He's five foot. Ryan Spice Boy Rhodes. Kell Brook, the former. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of. We welcome you to the. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. The perfect counter lands. Good punch. And this is for that jab. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but don't expect these fans to be sitting down. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. Walk in. You cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. He misses with that jab. Neither man really defending themselves. Just missed with that left jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell sometimes... Here we go for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So to tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until you're sent to the comeback. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter punch, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. You miss with that jab. the halfway point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way it just gets out of the way of that right uppercut he blocks the right uppercut Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been... And there's the bell for round three. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on.
through the hook, didn't land. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That's a scoring left hand. Real good back and forth between these two fighters. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight, it's the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights with a middleweight? Oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. Nice exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. They've got the advantage so far, but how does this match? On to the fourth we go. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He parries that left jab away. Then step back for just a moment. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them. And have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in. On to the fifth we go. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They're certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, thinking you just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket. Them. He just misses with that big right hand. This one go to the judges. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. You'd like to see more jabs.
fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. all the time. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Let's start the six. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. want this to go to the judges scorecards this fight a little bit closer than i think a lot of people thought and he misses with that jab he just misses with that jab Competitive round with 10 seconds left. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. They're absolutely exhausted. What are you going to Here comes round seven. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire will fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play cards, you play to avoid the jab. Pretty close fight here in this round. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed. It's so hard. It's an uphill battle. that jab that left hand misses not much time left in the round it's code red time for Ryan Rhodes 
Bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. And there's the bell for round eight. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Oh, he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. He misses with the left uppercut. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go to those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skim and go for speed. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Defending themselves. He's going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. And that leaves more opportunities for head shots. what the judges' scorecards read. There are no losers in this one. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the score. And we enter the night. After that last round, something has got to change. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Hard, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. No injury, but still throwing punches. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Fighters is starting to run out of gas. Down goes the spice board. One, two, three, four, five. The final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. the game plan changes. And here comes the 10th round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a awesome, he's got a, he's got a bluff him. He fails to score with that left hook. Thank 
showing exceptional chins, by the way. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Ryan Rose did not take that punch well, and he may go down. Maybe he should hold on, but that's not in his DNA. He somehow weathered the storm. Back and forth they go. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. an eternity for them. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Find a home for that jab. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Good punch. the jab but it doesn't score we wanted action and they are delivering this round could go either way 10 seconds to go Was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominant. And there's the bell to start round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Jab misses. Exchange here from both men. Both men step back for just a moment. You hear 
time people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with... Ryan Rose did not take that punch well, and he may go down. And Rhodes goes to the canvas. Ten seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. The judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big, hard lesson. I totally agree.